Welcome to section 3-2 where we're going to look at percentiles, quartiles, and box plots. Um, we've probably heard of a percentile in everyday life, but maybe not the second two. Um, so let's start with the percentiles. So a percentile is the set of numbers that divide an ordered set, so it has to be in order, into a hundred equal parts. And that's because of percents. Right, percents are out of a hundred. So that's where the 100 equal parts comes from. So let's just define the kth percentile. So this could be the first percentile, the 31st, the 32nd, the 99th, right? Any. And so we'll abbreviate it P sub K. And it, ha it attempts to have K percent of the data below it. So 99% means 99% is less. And so then the remainder, 100 minus k of the set, will be above it. So let's look at an actual number. So if we have p sub 80, that means like little, that's what the little subscript is, attempts to have 80% of the data set below it, and then 20% above. So 20 is just 100 minus 80 of the data set above it. So if you're in the 80th percentile of height, it means you're taller than 80% of people. Um, so let's look at maybe you um, are trying to buy a house and you and your realtor have determined that the most expensive house you can afford is the 34th percentile, which happens to be 240,000. Maybe not in California, not in the Bay Area, but somewhere. Um, and so in this town, can you afford 34% of the houses or can you afford 66? 66 is 100 minus 34. So 34th percentile means 34% of the houses are below 240,000. And so you can only afford 240,000 or less, so you can only afford 34% of the houses. So let's define these like special percentiles um, and we call them quartiles. Um, quartiles is cutting it into fourths. So it'll be 25, 50, and 75. So the first quartile um, we say is the 25th percentile, meaning 25% is below and 75% is above. So in terms of data, um, if it were houses, right, it means you can afford 25 and 75% are too expensive. If it's your height, it means you're taller than 25% of people, but 75% of people are taller than you. 50th percentile is 50 below and 50 above, half and half. Um, this may sound familiar, um, and this is actually the same as the median. So the median is the 50th percentile. And then the third quartile is 75. So 75% below and 25% above. So and those are quartiles. Um, sometimes we abbreviate it because it's a long word. So rather than saying first quartile, we'll say Q1 and Q3. And then we typically don't call Q2 Q2 because it's the median. So we just call it the median instead. So Q2 exists, but we call it the median. So let's figure out how to find these and then we'll jump into an example. So we wanna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our list in order and then we're gonna find the location of these percentiles and quartiles and then we'll go ahead and find them. So these formulas are location, write that really big. This isn't the value. Location just tells us where on the list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the percent, so if it's the kth percent, we're gonna divide it by 100 to maybe convert it to that decimal form. And then we're gonna multiply it by the sample size plus one, which is in parentheses. So then for Q1, since it's 
Um, 25% is 25 out of 100, which is the same as 1 fourth. So we can make the formula a little bit easier. The median is 50%, so 50 out of 100 would be 1 half. So just giving us a little bit easier formulas. The L stands for location. And then 3 fourths for Q3, because that would be 75% out of 100. And if we get a nice whole number, so if I get the number 5, it means it's the fifth number on the list. Um, if I get the number 5.5, .5, so if it's not a whole number, um, what we're going to do is we're going to average the data before and after. And then this is considered just an approximate value. So we'll check the, all this out in the first example on this. Um, and then this, what we're going to do with these numbers is we're going to create this thing called a five number summary. So box this, star this, something. Um, this will be really important for that thing called box plots. So we'll see how these formulas work in the next video.